hey, I'm Vince with Paxton of Georgia. I've asked, been asked by a few people to do some comparison against hydrogen peroxide versus UVC lighting. Those are the two most predominant uh, whole room disinfectant available on the market and used in most hospitals today. Uh, they're both hands-free disinfectant. You can put them both in a room by themselves and they disinfect the room. Both of them require that you remove the patient from the room to disinfect the room. Cost-wise, UVC machines, the large ones, cost about $100,000 plus usually a $10,000 to $12,000 additional maintenance fee. The hydrogen peroxide machines that I'm most familiar with cost about $10,000. Uh, the UVC lights are 99.99% effective and hydrogen peroxide systems are 99.9999% effective. So the UVC is a 4 log and the hydrogen peroxide fogs are about a 6 log effectiveness. Uh, and what we're doing is targeting C. diff. Uh, limitations. The UVC lights limitations are line of sight and range. So that means you may need someone to occasionally go in and move the UVC machine around to try to get rid of some of those shadowings, or you may need the UV light closer to certain items to ensure that it has the right range and time against it. Hydrogen peroxide, you basically put the machine in the middle of the room, push the button, and walk away. It'll disinfect the room by itself and keep the dwell time as well to ensure that it gets the kill claim that it has. EPA approval, UVCs do not have any type of EPA registration at this time. Hydrogen peroxide, our in particular system, does have EPA approval for the product in the system together. Do you have to move the furniture around with UVC? Yes, you do have to move the furniture around to get 360 degrees on some of these equipment. You can imagine a bed. You have to pull the bed away from the wall to get the headboard with UVC. Hydrogen peroxide, if you can imagine a disinfectant fog or a sauna in a room, you can still leave all your electronic equipment on and it reaches all the nooks and crannies that a UVC light could not reach. Uh, Long-term effects, they're starting to show some studies that UVC are breaking down the delicate plastic and rubber uh, knobs that we have on our uh, high-tech equipment in the OR rooms and the hospitals. You can imagine outside what UV light does to plastics and rubbers outside. It breaks it down naturally. So it's not an uh, over-exaggeration to understand UVC over time. At range and the depth of the light, it'll start breaking down delicate medical equipment. Hydrogen peroxide does not break down the hydrogen, uh, or correction, breaks down to water and uh, water, water and oxygen. Uh, Sporocidal. UVC is not registered as a spore cycle, but it has claims that over 20 minutes it can kill spores. Hydrogen peroxide is registered as a spore cycle. Uh, I've done a lot of research comparing these two. I'm always, try always trying to find chink in my armor with hydrogen peroxide. I think that's the best disinfectant there's available on the market today. Uh, I've found many articles that say hydrogen peroxide fogging is better than UVC light. I found many articles that says heading down the hydrogen peroxide is better than UVC light. Uh, when it comes to water disinfectant, now I've done a lot of research and obviously UV light is much better if you're treating water. But in a medical environment, in a hospital room, OR rooms, in ERs, uh, patient rooms, hydrogen peroxide is much more effective. I've never found any article that suggests there's a better whole room disinfectant than hydrogen peroxide. Just real quick comparison, hope you learned something. Please see our website at www.pathogenga.com. Thanks, have a great day.